Now we turn our attention to football. The 2016 European Football Championships have reached the semi-final stages now. And the first of them take place tonight when Portugal take on surprise debutant semi-finalists Wales. And this morning we are joined by international editor of Soccer La Duma magazine, David Kappel, who is going to remind us of what went down in the quarters and, of course, give us a taste of the semi-finals. Judging by the shirts, I'm guessing you're looking forward to our second semi-final, a little more than tonight's. David, great to have you back. And I'm shaking your hand out of congratulations. You called it, bro. You said Germany would stand out and you gave a nod to host France. But looking at tonight's mouthwatering semi-final, we've got Portugal Maybe lucky semi-finalists. Um, obviously, they've needed extra time just about every game to get there. Should they be considering themselves lucky to be in the semi? Um, I definitely think so. Um, they, the first team that actually reaches the semi-final without winning a game after yeah. 90 minutes. Um, they have a lot of draws. But in the end of the day, they may, they've made it this far. So they're here for a reason. So um, it's going to be an exciting game against Wales tonight. Um, and of course, there is a, an emotional factor tonight. You've got a debutant team. You've got Wales that are scoring a lot of goals. Gareth Bale, I'm sure, relishing the opportunity to play up against Cristiano Ronaldo. What do you make of this Wales team? Where are they getting this from as a newbie outfit um, in European football, certainly on this level? What are they getting right? Yeah, as you said, it, they, at this stage of the tournament, um, for the first time in, since 1958, um, they are a great team. That's what's making them so great, you know. With Portugal, everybody looks at Ronaldo. With Wales, everybody looks at Bale. But in fact, uh, Wales, they just function very well as a team. You know, everybody does their bit. There's certain tactics that fall into place. And that's why they could upset the likes of Belgium. What do you think we're going to see play out on that field? You've mentioned the two star players. Who else should we be looking at? And what kind of tactic do you think Portugal are going to employ to kind of deaden that, that counter-attacking ability that Wales clearly have? Uh, obviously, everybody's looking at Bale versus Ronaldo. You know, when the teammates turn into enemies, um, but I think it's going to be a tight affair. It could end up in a nil and another penalty shootout. Uh, I think uh, Portugal, if they want to go through, they have to focus on their defence first. If you want to watch out for a specific player, watch out for Renato Sanchez from Portugal. Yeah. He's just 18 years old. He has set the tournament alight. So it, either way, it's going to be an exciting game. Um, and I have no doubt with the amount of teammates on that field, because it's not just obviously Bell and Ronaldo. We're seeing a couple of teams represented there. This really has marked the end of a, a, an unbelievable domestic season. Do you think in all countries that we've seen this year, do you think we've seen that form continue into Euros? Have your expectations been met? Um, I have to say it's 50-50. You know, the tournament hasn't been really the greatest when it comes to beautiful football. You know, yeah. the likes of Spain, uh, England, they dropped out early in the tournament. But it's, uh, the, it's the beautiful game. That uh, you know, some teams that you haven't expected to go through are in the in the semi-finals. I personally, of course, I'm very happy that Germany has reached a stage. Tournament host France are still there, so it's still going to be an exciting tournament. And, and I have to ask for you to put your head on a block for that one. How do you think that's going to play out? France, Germany, a young side with a lot of promise, and, and that German team clearly on a, a path, a ten-year path of success now. Um, obviously, I hope Germany will reach the final and take the title. Um, it's going to be a tough game. Um, I believe Germany is in with a good shot because uh, I've seen some uh, um, problems in France backline. So I think Germany is going to go to the final. You, you, you think and you hope, sir, and um, we're certainly going to agree with you after the predictions you made at the beginning of the season, or at least the competition, but thank you so much. Enjoy tonight. I think it's going to be a great knockout round. Now, of course, we wouldn't be gracious hosts if we didn't allow you to enjoy one of our traditions. So I'm going to ask you to pick up an Omar Rusk. I'm going to demonstrate. Um, this is generally my dipping style with my Omar because I'm constantly focused on something else. So I'm going to show you the sporting drop, okay? which is when you're generally you're dipping your rask and you're talking and you're talking and you're loving the action that's happening on the screen so much that you completely forget about it and your rask then becomes almost saturated. I'm actually going to save it. It's just too delicious. Maybe you can show us the, the Laduma drop there. Mm -mm. <laughs> well done. That's now officially the Laduma dunk <laughs> in Omo. David, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Dude, thank you so, so much. And of course, we would love to see your dipping style. You can hit us up on our Expresso Morning Show Facebook page. Mm. <laughs>